Finn, I've just received a top secret communique from HQ. Let's see it. Art challenges technology. Technology inspires the art. John Lasseter of Pixar Animation strongly believes in this view and has ever since the first time he experienced 3D animation. He is a pioneer into the then new territory of 3D animation. His animation breakthroughs changed the way people make animated movies, literally adding new dimensions to a flat art form. Because of his dedication to 3D animation, he led Pixar to be the head of the now massive industry and continues to make a living of revolutionizing animation. John Lasseter was born in Hollywood, California to Mother Jewel May and Father Paul Ill Lasseter. Growing up, he enjoyed watching cartoons. While he was in high school, he found a book that inspired him called The Art of Animation by Bob Taunus. It made him realize he wanted to do animation himself. After graduating from CalArts in 1982, Lasseter was given a job at Disney Animation as an animator. Shortly after being at Disney, he saw an early glimpse of the light cycle sequence from the new movie Tron. And his interest in computer animation grew. Walt Disney had always tried to get more dimension in his animation, and when I saw these tastes, I thought, this is it. This is what he was waiting for. But when I looked around, nobody at the studio at the time was even in halfway interested in it. After witnessing computer animation being used, he decided he wanted to experiment with it himself. He worked with fellow animator, Glenn Keane, to create a 30-second short using a computer animated background and a hand-drawn character. Then he was given the position of director for a new film, The Brave Little Toaster. After creating a storyboard for the film, he pitched his idea to Ed Hansen and Ron Miller, CEO of Disney Animation at the time. Minutes after presenting his story, he was called to Hansen's office and was told that he was fired. This was because the animators at Disney were not interested in 3D animation unless it meant cheaper and faster production. In 1983, after being fired from Disney, Lasseter went to a computer graphics convention aboard the Queen Mary. He ran into Ed Catmull from the Lucasfilm Computer Graphics Group. Lasseter had made a deal to work with Catmull and his colleagues on a project that resulted in their first animated short, The Adventures of Andre and Wally B. This short was the first of its kind with computer animated characters and settings. In 1985, designed and animated a stained glass window for the film Young Sherlock Holmes. Shortly after this, in 1986, Steve Jobs, the former CEO of Apple Computers, who invested $10 million to purchase the computer division of Lucasfilm, he called this new group of animators Pixar. First short ever animated at Pixar happened that same year, Luxo Jr. The next year, it became the first computer animated short to be nominated for an Academy Award. Success came yet again for Pixar when their next computer animated short, Tin Toy, was awarded an Oscar for Best Animated Short Film. It was the first ever awarded to a computer animated film. Pixar continued to make short films, and in 1990 they created the cap system to enhance the look of two-dimensional films. This would later lead to Disney's most popular films. Next, Lasseter and the rest of the team at Pixar proposed an idea to Disney about making a half-hour short using their short, Tin Toy. They teamed up with Disney to create the first computer-animated feature entitled Toy Story. With the introduction of the first fully animated 3D feature-length film, the rest of the industry discovered what Lasseter had seen while watching the light cycle sequence. After many trial and error, the film was released to superb reviews. Pixar gaining national attention and acclaim, and Lasseter received a special achievement Oscar for his inspired leadership of the Toy Story team. Now, Pixar was hoping to do it again. Lasseter directed Pixar's second film, A Bug's Life, and the animation was pushed even further. They produced another hit, it was another groundbreaking movie. It was the first computer animated film to be released as widescreen. After the massive success of Bugs Life and Toy Story, 
other 3D animated films began popping up. Lasseter's work in the animation field granted inspiration for other animation studios. After the success, he decided to take a break from all the stress from the past two films. However, he ended up coming back to assist the Pixar team in making the next film, Toy Story 2, because the story was not working out very well. After Toy Story 2, Lasseter decided that it was time that the other animators take the director's chair. He couldn't always direct the films made at Pixar. Plus, a few of the animators he worked with attended kill arts with him, so he knew what they were capable of doing. Therefore, he assigned Pete Docter to direct the next film, Monsters, Inc. From that point on, he made his partners directors of some of the Pixar films. Lasseter's work with Pixar brought a new depth to storytelling, allowing adults to sit through a children's movie without being bored out of their minds over the rather linear plot. Adults are able to sit through a Pixar movie and notice the amazing artwork that Lasseter painstakingly strives for. This goes to Lasseter's quote about technology inspiring art. The new platform available for mass use and popular consumption, stories had to rise to the level of animation. This caused some controversies in the industry because of the critical and popular success of Pixar's new 3D movies, CEOs and other business, and other business leaders, that the audience wouldn't want to see 2D animation anymore. Disney especially was in danger of losing profit from their 2D films. In 2006, Disney purchased Pixar and made Lasseter chief creative officer of both Pixar and Walt Disney Animation Studios. Pixar continued to make films in partnership with Disney Animation. In 2007, Lasseter was back in the director's chair directing the movie Cars. He continued to work at Pixar as executive producer for movies such as The Incredibles, Ratatouille, Wall-E, and the Academy Award winner, Up. Lasseter continues to work at Pixar and loves what he does. He says, if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. Lasseter enjoys animating and creating long-lasting movies. Because of his dedication to making 3D animation work, so many wonderful stories are able to be told. His work at Pixar sets high standards for all computer animated movies. Lasseter is also invaluable to animation and the industry. Lasseter being dubbed the modern Mr. Disney, he's taking animation to a new level. Lasseter is the creative director of Disney Animation Studios. Lasseter didn't just change the game of animation, he rewrote the rules. Good morning! Hi! Welcome! That's Moocher. We adopted him on a trip in Jamaica. He was a little straight cat. If you listen closely, he still has an accent. He goes, Meow man! Meow man! Well, you can come as my guest, so come on down.